What's going on, back family? I know it's a little rough. Up late handling business. Up kind of early handling business and getting this content out to you guys. So, since YouTube's going to keep doing what it's going to do every time there's a big payout or whatever, I'm going to do what I've seen some of the best do. That's PBT, Professor Black Truth, and the Black Authority, a.k.a. TBA, have done. They have secondary channels when they start doing this. So, I'm going to create a, a secondary channel. It's going to be called the MBU. And I'm going to announce it when I uh, put the video up after this one. I'm going to have a link to that channel over there. You guys go flood that one. And we're going to start putting content. And we're going to redirect everybody over there. And um, build that one up. And then monetize that platform. So when you two want to act funny, we'll just switch from one to the other. And do like they had to do. I've been around uh, them two since Tariq did the simulcast with them, those brothers years back. And that's what they had to do to deal with YouTube's blatant anti-black racism. So, uh, we still be one. We still going to kick it in hot gear. We still going to kick it in overdrive. We still going to bring this content. And yeah, so this is going to be, I think I might be able to do, let me look at it real quick. I'm about to edit it right now. And look at how many clips this is. Okay, no, we can do it in one. We can do it in one. I thought about doing two parts of um, black people responded to Barack Obama when he tried to tell black men that he was disappointing us. So, yeah. Enjoy. Y'all better stop playing with Barack Obama. You heard what Barry said. I had to listen to that video a couple of times before I gave my reaction. Let me start off by saying this, and I know that we all can agree on what I'm about to say. The only time these people, and when I say these people, I mean politicians, care about what we think about what we feel about, and what we want to do when it's time to vote for them. Other than that, we don't hear from them. They don't do nothing for us. They don't say nothing to us until it's time for us to vote. And I'm not just talking about Democrats. I'm talking about Democrats, and I'm talking about Republicans. Truth of the matter is this, all right? Barack, as a grown man, you can't tell another grown man what the f You can't tell another grown man what to do. You can't do that. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you how to vote. I can't tell you what you should do because you black and I'm black. The problem is everybody, everybody, and I'm speaking about everybody, want all of us to think with one brain. It don't go like that. Some people gonna vote Republican. Some people gonna vote Democrat. It is what it is. Do what you feel like doing, but don't come up here talking about, yo, black man. Yo, listen, man, you can't do that. You can't do that. And on top of all that, you ain't nobody father. Who you talking to, your two daughters? What's wrong with you? If you're doing what you're supposed to do, people gonna vote for you. Simple and plain. Vote for who you wanna vote for. Don't try and steer the vote by putting pressure on people. You can't put pressure on nobody using aggressive words and terms like you a gangster. You ain't no gangster. Who you talking to? Who father you is? Barack Hussein Obama. The audacity of you to say to us that we are required and we better vote for Kamala Harris and that we don't want to see a woman in a position of power. You're a liar. I remember in June of 2010, I was in Baghdad, Iraq, and I watched your State of the Union address as a proud young black man to see a black president on the television. But I listened to you as you told the American people that we would not spend any additional resources in Baghdad or in Afghanistan, and we're going to bring our troops home in December of 2014. Right then and there, I knew you couldn't be trusted. Why? Because I'm watching them build sidewalks, build streets, and construct buildings in Baghdad, Iraq in 2010, as you say we're going to leave in 2014. So now that you get on a stage or a platform and try to bully us and belittle us and make try to make the world believe that we're not intelligent enough to see what you and the demonic Democratic Party is doing, you're the biggest problem to black people, not the Republican Party. Just because our policies differ or our views differ or our perspectives and values differ, now you want to attack? No, Barack, you're a liar and you're a part of the problem. Obama just lost the election for Kamala Harris. This boy had the nerve to chastise black men on national TV. There is no 
race of people that has been chastised on national TV regarding their vote. And you guys have the nerve to do that. You're not going to chastise me as a black male and say that I don't know how to make any kind of rational decisions. And I'm just voting because I don't want to see a woman as a president. So I'm going to call y'all on your BS. Because in 2020, Harris ran and no one voted for her. Why was Biden a better candidate than Harris? This shows you how powerful you truly are and how much Democrats think your vote is guaranteed to them. Obama's arrogance is getting out of control. And this little stunt that he pulled, he really is starting to believe his own height. Yeah, they painted you like you're the Messiah, the savior of black people, but you did nothing for us. You never was the black president. He had eight years in office and never spoke to us directly. This is worse than you ain't black if you don't vote for me. I don't see how y'all not offended. If you're a black man and you was not offended by what Obama said and did, then I don't even know what to say to you. So yes, we will vote for Donald Trump. Yes, we're going to stand on business because that's what a real man does. Hey, yo, Trump 2024. Hey, Barack Obama, as a black man, this must be sad, man. Fuck you. Fuck Kamala Harris and fuck the Democratic Party. We vote for Trump, bruh. Y'all, I'm finna say this with my chest. If you don't vote in this election or you vote the wrong way and you're black, you deserve everything that you don't get. You deserve being overlooked for that job opportunity. You deserve getting pulled over driving while black. You deserve racial inequality. You deserve having to have a job with a non-livable wage. You deserve the fact that you're going to have student loan debt for the next 25 years. You deserve not being able to buy a house and build generational wealth. Some of y'all are just embarrassing. And I'm not talking about embarrassing to yourselves. You're embarrassing to your ancestors. You're embarrassing to all of the barriers that were broken before you were even thought about existing on this planet Earth. Y'all are embarrassing to your children and to your grandchildren that you've not even met yet. It is disgusting. Having a literacy test has got to be put back on the table. Because y'all done messed it up for everybody. Y'all, I'm finna say this with my chest. If you don't vote in this election or you vote the wrong way and you're black, you deserve everything that you don't get. You deserve being overlooked for that job opportunity. You deserve getting pulled over driving while black. You deserve racial inequality. You deserve having to have a job with a non-livable wage. Y'all, I'm finna say this with my chest. If you don't vote in this election or you vote the wrong way and you're black, you deserve everything that you don't get. So let me get this right, sister. If we don't vote the way you think we should vote, then we vote in the wrong way, huh? And we're black. Is that what you're saying? Okay, I get it. Continue. You deserve being overlooked for that job opportunity. Let me enlighten you, sister. Before the pandemic hit, the Trump administration had the lowest black unemployment rate in 30 years, 30 years. So not getting that job opportunity doesn't hold water, but continue. You deserve racial inequality. As to racial inequality, I don't know, but I do know this, that many of the major corporations such as United Airlines, Google and Apple all have preferential hiring practices for blacks and other minorities continue you deserve having to have a job with a non-livable wage during the trump administration real wages increased for black americans by 15.4 percent while they increased for white americans by 11.5 percent how about that sister but continue you deserve the fact that you're gonna have student loan debt for the next 25 years how about you, sister? But my parents taught me don't take out a loan that you don't plan on repaying back. If you can't afford it, don't take it out. But continue. You deserve not being able to buy a house and build generational wealth. The Trump administration, home mortgage rates averaged about 3.7% in 
and under the Biden administration, they've been about 5.7 percent. And since Biden took office, home prices have increased by 38 percent. But continue. Some of y'all are just embarrassing. And I'm not talking about embarrassing to yourselves. You're embarrassing to your ancestors. Well, based on the rebuttals that I've given to your claim, sister, you seem to be the embarrassing one, not Trump supporters. Have a good night. I really genuinely need somebody to explain to me why Barack Obama thinks it's a great idea to go out here and have black men vote for Kamala Harris and galvanize the black male vote when this lady going to do the same thing for us that he did, which is not a mother thing. Like, let's be clear. Barack Obama talking about this is now the time for you black men to go out and vote for Kamala Harris when she needs your support. All right. We are obligated uh, to do this because I'm going to pull out the race card out of my ass. The same as I pulled out the race car when I told you we were going to bring change to America. Yes, we can. Yes, we can what? Yes, we got to reverse eight years of bad George Bush policy. The, the Democratic Party has convinced black people that Donald Trump is somehow already in office. This is how they work. It's, they, they, they literally play the psychological mind game to say, if Donald Trump this, if Donald Trump that, Barack Obama, what did you do for the black people? What did you do for black people when you got in office, Barack? We gave you a Nobel. You were awarded a Nobel Peace Prize simply for being able to say you stood on the shoulders of Dr. King, Malcolm X, Medgar Evers, all the people that came before you. Did you live up to it? Did you do anything that was deserving of a Nobel Peace Prize before you got in office? F no. Did you do anything that was deserving of a Nobel Peace Prize while you were in office? No. Did you do anything of substance for black people? No. But we treated you like Moses when in actuality you were just Pharaoh. And I'm not saying you were Pharaoh like you were oppressive in Egypt, like, you know, like, like Pharaoh was to the Israelites in Egypt, but you were Pharaoh in terms of you held a political office and we elevated you to the status of Martin when you didn't even do half the work he nor Malcolm did. This is what I mean when I say in order to appeal to black people, all you have to do is appeal to their emotions. If you appeal to the emotion of the black man, you don't have to actually do or perform anything that you tell him you will do. This is just a fact. These are the facts. Barack Obama is telling black people now to go vote for the same lady that ain't going to do jack for them. We can expect from Kamala Harris the same thing we should have expected from Barack Obama. Not a thing. And I need y'all to understand this. These politicians play the race card right in your face every four years, and we got to be smart enough to see past the BS. You dig? Because if we don't, we, we're just going to keep repeating the same cycle. Those that fail to study and properly analyze history are always doomed to repeat it. Chetch. Chetch. Judy. Toby be good nigga for massa. Don't send Toby away. Toby be good for your handball. You can stay here. Ah, Toby stay. Toby stay. Toby be good now. Toby be real good. Let me guess, Obama was the last spade in the deck that y'all tried to play us with? Just in case y'all missed the memo, don't nobody give a fuck about Barack Obama. Now is the time for black people to speak and think for themselves. We do not need anybody speaking or thinking for us. This whole election season has been nothing but black people trying to get other black people to think like them. Let us think for ourselves. Let us decide who we want to be president. Y'all brainwashed us long enough with nothing but bad negative things about Donald Trump. But the part y'all fail to realize, there are black people here that pay attention to actions, not just what y'all are saying. We did that long enough. This Obama situation did nothing but reminded me of that minority woman that was sent to these public schools to tell people children horrible things about donald trump let us decide on our own y'all can no longer get in our brains and tell us what to do we are voting for who we want to vote for stop trying to sway our decision this shit is not cool leave us alone so they sent obama to come get us and bring us back to the democratic plantation <laughs> he like it. they sent obama back to come get us he insulted us. He said, y'all, he is so I was highly offended when he said the only reason we voting for Donald Trump is because um we don't want a woman in president, so we come up with oh, yo nigga, shut up. Shut up. 
You don't speak for me. You don't speak for me. You don't speak for a lot of us. Fuck out of here. You gonna tell us what we think? Ah, come on, man. Who the fuck are y'all? That shit pissed me off, man. Fuck out of here. You gonna tell us how we need to think and what we should think? Man, shut up, man. Fuck out of here. You gonna bring Barack Obama? He gonna tell. He gonna play us. First, y'all call us low informed voters, uh, uh, low information voters, misinformed voters. Now you want to come out and throw my mama in this shit. Fuck that. If my mom's was president, I ain't voting for her. My grandmother could be my own. I wouldn't vote for them either. And they got the same radical policies. Shit pissing me off, man. Watching this video with this motherfucker, man. This dude gonna come up here and tell us how we need to think. Yo, get the fuck out of here, man. Go back to the White House. Or wherever you came from, Barry, now you want to address us like brothers. I ain't been your brother. Where would you at 2008, Negro? Fuck out of here. This message is for Barack. Ain't never did a fuck-ass thing for niggas in the eight years he was in the White House ever, Obama. Keep black men's name out your motherfucking mouth. We not about to do that. That's what we not about to do. And I'm a black woman that's not playing with your motherfucking ass, Mr. Biracial. Okay? You ain't did a fuck-ass thing for us in the eight years that you was in the White House. And you think you gonna pop up during an election year and try to scold black men for not wanting to vote for your candidate? Have you lost your fucking mind? I need you to go back into whatever cave and hole you fucking came out of and stay there. You're not about to come out and try to disrespect black men. We're not about to fucking do that. And this is a black ass woman telling you that. It's not happening. I'm not going for it. If you thought that I was going to hop on a bandwagon and be like, yeah, tell them. Fuck no. Be quiet. Be quiet. There are millions of people in this country that are not voting for Kamala. And it's her motherfucking fault. Every time she opens her mouth... Bullshit flies out. Teleprompter, no teleprompter. It's all bullshit. We know she was raised in a middle class family. We don't give a fuck. The last four years have been hell for us. And you sitting over there with your millions of dollars and you want to reemerge, come out of hiding when they need you, and then you're going to point your motherfucking finger at black men? It's not motherfucking happening. What Iyala said, not on my watch. Not on my watch. Take your ass back to the hole you crawled out of with that big ass wife you got and leave us the fuck alone. Period. We shouldn't have voted for your motherfucking ass during the eight years that you was there. A lot of my people was blinded by the fact that you came out as a dark skinned man. And they took that and they ran with it. But people are waking the fuck up and we don't care about color right now. Because people are hungry and the grocery stores is high as hell. And we have inflation. And we have motherfuckers coming into this country getting more money than the people who have been affected by hurricanes. So we don't give a fuck about what you got to say. All right? Go back to where you came from and keep black men's name out of your motherfucking mouth. Thank you did a fuck ass thing for niggas in the eight years he was in the white house ever obama keep black men's name out your motherfucking mouth we not about to do that that's what we not about to do and i'm a black woman that's not playing with your motherfucking ass mr biracial okay you ain't did a fuck ass thing for us in the eight years that you was in the white house and you think you gonna pop up during an election year and try to scold black men for not wanting to vote for your candidate? Have you lost your fucking mind? I need you to go back into whatever cave and hole you fucking came out of and stay there. You're not about to come out and try to disrespect black men. We're not about to fucking do that. And this is a black ass woman telling you that. It's not happening. I'm not going for it. If you thought that I was going to hop on a bandwagon and be like, yeah, tell them, fuck no. Be quiet. Be quiet. There are millions of people in this country that are not voting for Kamala. And it's her motherfucking fault. Every time she opens her mouth, bullshit flies out. 
teleprompter no teleprompter it's all bullshit we know she was raised in a middle class family we don't give a fuck the last four years have been hell for us and you sitting over there with your millions of dollars and you want to reemerge, come out of hiding when they need you and then you're going to point your motherfucking finger at black men it's not motherfucking happening what Iyala said not on my watch not on my watch Take your ass back to the hole you crawled out of with that big ass wife you got and leave us the fuck alone. Period. We shouldn't have voted for your motherfucking ass during the eight years that you was there. A lot of my people was blinded by the fact that you came out as a dark skinned man. And they took that and they ran with it. But people are waking the fuck up and we don't care about color right now. Because people are hungry and the grocery stores is high as hell. And we have inflation. And we have motherfuckers coming into this country getting more money than the people who have been affected by hurricanes. So we don't give a fuck about what you got to say. All right? Go back to where you came from and keep black men's name out of your motherfucking mouth. Thank you. Yo, I'm not even going to lie. The fact that a black woman, right? A black, copper color, beautiful, nice skin. God damn, she look good. Black woman is coming out and openly saying that, you know, Barack Obama should shut his mouth and hold his comments and opinions on other black men. I'm so happy she did that. I want people to understand something, right? And that man's eight years of presidency, right? The only thing that we experience, in my, in my opinion, and this is from a black man from the hood, from the hood. He gave us Obama phones, right? He gave us Obama phones. That's the only thing that nigga did that contributed to our economy here in the, in the hood. Why? Because it helped trappers trap harder, right? It helped trappers trap without being discovered. Them Obama phones was throwaways, right? And those are phones that you could get all the time. Like every, every, every month you could probably get a new Obama phone. That's the only thing Barack Obama probably did that was like conducive to the copper colored community. And I'm so happy she came out and said this because there's a lot of people that's in denial of this too. Most of y'all old heads is in denial of this, man. But y'all need to come out, right? Face the facts, wake up, smell the coffee that y'all love drinking so much and really do, do right and make the right decision voting this year, right? Because we are one presidency away from being completely destroyed as a community and that's just my personal opinion let me know what y'all think in the comments below like i said man cop color king let's do it obama said what i know they ain't brought obama ass up there to try to the think he gonna get some straightening somewhere he i i just know they ain't did that and then he gonna have the nerve to say Y'all better be glad Michelle ain't here. What the, what the fuck she gonna do? What is Michelle gonna do? You calling out black men specifically for that for not voting for Kamala because she's black? But what did you do for the black men while you were there? What did you do for us? I'm 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 really I'm trying to figure it out right now. You want to call us out out of all the races? You want to call us out? You want to say that we supposed to just be supporting her because she's black? Okay, what did you do for us? I seen you do a lot for the LGTPQ plus. I think I said that right. I don't want to offend nobody. You did a lot for them. I mean, Black History, we got a month too, but it's the shortest month. You gave them a long ass month. Then you, then they got all kind of, man, you, I ain't going to even get on that. You did a lot for the police too. You the one started back the blue. But y'all want to say Trump trying to get a police immunity. But you don't brought your Newport smoking ass on here and want to say something and try to call us out. Call us out. I bet the people in Flint, Michigan still got a lot to say about you because last time I heard they still ain't got safe water. But you talking about us. Man, if you don't sit your ass down somewhere, I don't care if they... Wait, hold up. My bad, y'all. I was looking for a fucks to give because I done ran all out. A motherfucker with your record don't need to say nothing to black men. Boy, it, it, boy, that right there 
is your motherfucking record, nigga. Soon as you came in the goddamn office, unemployment went up high as a motherfucker for the entire country. But you see that purple line right there? That purple line right there is just the motherfucking niggas. Then you got the motherfucking nerd to tell us that we don't want to see a black woman leader. Motherfucker like we ain't got a black mama. What the fuck is wrong with you, boy? Half of us got single mamas. And the motherfuckers on the welfare that you put them on, that you pair it to they... I'm sorry. Mm. Y'all Democratic Party has did nothing for black people but put them in struggle and hate and everything. You come into our community with your welfare and your Section 8, and then you want us to get sit here and goddamn sit down with a motherfucker at a table and sit here and talk about voting for Kamala Harris. Bitch, I don't want to vote for... We've been voting for this shit since 1964. It ain't work. I got another question. Why did you get rid of the word Negro? You signed a bill to get rid of the word Negro. All my black people, go look up that. Go see why he got rid of the word Negro. And then I'm going to open your eyes to a lot of shit. Man, if you want to sit your biscuit head ass down somewhere, goofy looking motherfucker, like slender man looking motherfucking ass, like anybody trying to listen to you, bro, you didn't get the memo. The community ain't fucking with you, dog. We ain't fucking with you. We ain't got two words for you. It, yes, we do. Hi and bye. We are not fucking with you, B.O. Like, no, bro. They're going to send your ass to the community like, oh, let me go ahead and chastise the black man. No, fuck it. What? No. We are not fucking with you. We're not. And, and just for that, they sent Magic Johnson. They send your ass. Oh, and don't forget uh, uh, Sassy uh, Martin, D.L. Hughley, Ricky Smiley. Like, like, the list goes on and on. Like, really, bro? Al Sharpton, that old, old snitching ass, he ain't nothing but a rat. Who's next? We ain't fucking with none of y'all. None of you guys represent a real black American man. Not one of y'all. If anything, y'all represent what it means to be a goddamn sellout. Peace. Now, I'm going to speak about this Obama thing again. So I went back and I watched um, Obama's, you know, at the rally for Kamala to get us back on the Democratic plantation. And one thing I noticed is he seemed to be chastising black men as if to make it seem as if they don't know what they're voting. They don't know what they want or they don't know what it is is best for them like their children. And I didn't like that. Now. Y'all remember in Obama's book, he said he had to read a book and to practice to learn how to be a black man because he was raised by a white mother in a white family. Father was, of course, somewhere else, not there. And so he had to learn how to be a black man. So he's using the same tactics <laughs> as a non-black person to chastise, chasten, uh, devalue and degrade black people aka black men my thing is are you gonna go and say these same things to asian men because truth be told i don't where's the asian vote going do they even vote where's the asian vote going where's the hispanic vote going where's the samoan vote going where's the indian vote going where's the ethiopian vote going where's the african vote going but no no, 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 no. We know who he's talking about. He's talking about black American men because we're the most vocal about really any and everything. Everybody else is silent, but we're the most vocal. I think it is offensive. I think it is absolutely ridiculous, especially given what it is that all people in America see has happened with Democrats in office. We all are experiencing this. We're all sitting. He's acting like like black men are some monolith, like they are just completely different than the vote that everybody else is going to give, which probably is not going to be for Kamala. So I think that was absolutely ridiculous. It, it was offensive. It was disgusting, really. 
If you're going to talk to black men like that, as if they're children and chat and chasing them and, you know, like, oh, like they don't know what they want and when they don't know how to vote or what they want to vote for. Make sure you do that with every other group of men. But of course, he's not. It wasn't a good look for the Democratic Party to do that. And that's what they get. That's what they get. 